si Jordan Paul! What's up beautiful people? My name is Jordan and here we are with a vlog about politics. Today we are here with the vlog group. No. King, Christian, Clarence, and Nathan! So what's up mga ka big boys? Ngayong araw, uh, pupunta po tayo sa bahay nila Ma'am Mirna Yuligas para i-interview siya about politics. Kasi tumakbo po siya nung nakaraang eleksyon, nakaraang eleksyon uh, sa position ng sanggunyang bayan member. Kaya tara! I am here with Honorable Ma'am Mirna Yuligas and she is also a former principal of our own school, Doña Loyo de Guzman Memorial National High School. Hello ma'am. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning students of the my former school, the Doña Loyo de Guzman Memorial National High School. So, uh, this is uh, on the spot interview, so I'm not prepared. Yes, ma'am. So, you could see I have not taken a back. Yes, uh, ma'am. Parang kwan lang, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, ma now, I will interview you, ma'am, about a certain topic about politics. Mm. Now, ma'am, my first question. Ma'am, what is your first ever project as a member of Sangguniang Bayan? You know, my first project is helping the marginalized sector. Usually, if they come to my office and ask for financial assistance, I usually give them uh, teenagers who include, involve themselves in basketball and those who are sick, those who are operated, those who are in the hospital. So that was my first project. So aside from that, I usually go to different barangays and uh, have information dissemination on climate change and about how to secure police clearance, um, violence against women and children, and many other topics that is of help to the different barangays. Financial problem, ma'am, is very helpful. So, maganda, ma'am. Uh, now, ma'am, we proceed. Ma'am, what can you say about politician condition of our own town, Bawang? I think the condition of, uh, of politics in Bawang is also good. Because I could see, being uh, one of the members of the different committees, I could see also that our mayor is uh, doing his best together with the other the vice mayor and Sangguniang Bayan members so that uh, everyone will be benefited from the fund of the municipal government. So I could see that our mayor had been repairing some of our barangay roads and then buying uh, land for the homeless, uh, helping the poor, and many other projects that are beneficial to, especially to the marginalized sector. Yes, ma'am. Oh, ma'am, how would you go about handling national security issues? Now, when we are talking about national security, uh, I think we must uh, uh, first uh, pay attention to the national security of Bawang. You know, Bawang is a very peaceful town, so I am from Balawan. I was a former resident of Balawan. So I transferred to Bawang because there is peace of mind here in Bawang. So when we talk about national security, especially yung ano China, uh, in our in our seashore, I think uh, all of us should be ready. Whatever happens uh, in our in the Philippines, so we should be ready. First of all, uh, we must be prepared. You know, for example, the AFP, the PNP. Lahat ng mga ano, yung mga members ng, kuha, ng uh, guarding our, guarding peace and order in our, in our country. So we should be ready. Yes ma'am, parang ma'am yung China is invade or is they invading conquer or, the, uh, uh, the place. Yes ma'am. Now ma'am, despite all the efforts of our government to repulse corruption, do you have any plan to counter corruption in your own way? I think uh, we are doing our best, especially when we had our we have our session. The vice mayor is very vigilant in the implementation of some of the projects. But the problem is, uh, we are not involved in the implementation. We just sign, and then in the implementation, 
it will be the different, uh, ano, for example, the roads it will be engineers, contractors. So, uh, what we are going for is that we, we will be vigilant. We follow up the, you know, the projects of the different barangays, especially in the part of our vice mayor. So, ma'am, uh, magsasign muna bago... Yes, we sign. So, yes. all all implementation will be signed by the Sangguniang Bayan members, the yes, vice mayor. Para... Mm. Ng for example, uh, the fund for for the ano, construction of bridges or the asphalting of the roads, we sign the fund, but we will not do the implementation. We are off hand in the implementation of the projects. Dadaan pa sa yung sa inyo man. Eh? Magsign lang kami ng uh, ordinance or resolution, then it will be finally signed by the mayor. So bahala na sila doon kung kanino may bibigay yung mga projects doon. Mayro na mga bidding. So, bahala na kung sino mag-inspect mag sa mga different projects. Ma'am, I'll ask again about uh, uh, um, uh, yung health care, ma'am. Yung ano, do you think the government should provide health care or basic in income for all citizens? As well as, ma'am, yung barangay. For example, yung barangay, uh, they will provide a certain now in the municipal government, I think we have also allocated uh, fund for the medicines for the municipal health center. But the problem is the fund is not enough to respond to the needs of all the people in Bawang. So it is very difficult to be poor. If you are poor, you cannot be you cannot go to hospitals like Norma Bethany. So they just go to ITER MC, but in ITER MC it's very difficult to be hospitalized there because of the number of patients. So in the barangays, they also provide medicines because as we are scrutinizing their budget, uh, there are barangays allocating medicines for the, the, for the residents no, of the respective the barangay. Points. But the problem is, hindi lahat ng mga medicines ay may bibigay ng barangay. Kasi konti lang, like for example in in Kabisilan, konti lang ang para sa medicine kasi konti lang naman ang budget. So, ang ginagawa namin bilang sangguniang bayan members, we also provide them financial assistance kung walang medicine. Pero konti-konti lang kasi yung mga yung nasosyaldo namin, hindi naman, uh, hindi naman enough para sa mga lahat na pumunta sa amin. So it is uh, the responsibility and obligation of uh, the national government and uh, municipal government to respond to the needs of the people. So, ano yun? Kaya lang hindi enough. Mm, Yan ang isang problema. Hindi pa enough yung pondo. Mm, yung pondo na mm. pagbili ng mga medicine. Now ma'am, ma no, ma as a former principal of a of our school, um, up to you, do you support uh, the project of the school uh, such as uh, coastal clean-up and uh, anti-bullying? Uh, yes, because those were my projects. When I was the principal, we go to different barangays. We go to the seashore and have green revolution. So, kasi when we say green revolution, no, blue revolution, it is coastal clean-up. We have feeding program, gift giving. At saka different, uh, no, different, uh, like, kung ma'am, uh, seminars, like seminar. bullying, violence against women and children, yun, ang daming projects namin noon. So, a teacher should have a community outreach program, many outreach programs to become uh, an outstanding teacher. So, pag tinitignan ninyo yung mga outstanding teachers doon, maraming community outreach programs yung mga guro na yun. So you can never be an outstanding uh, uh, principal or teacher without involving yourselves in community outreach programs. Yes, ma'am. Um, I'm also a student in Dunya Loyo, Guzman mm -hmm. Memorial National High School. Um, I, when I participate in such uh, activities, uh, coastal cleanup. up Then, uh, minsan, minsan, ma'am, we also have a feeding program mm -hmm. like sa mga, kwan, barangays. Yes, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, now, uh, this is my last question, ma'am. Uh, as a Sangguniano Bayan member, what is your future plans uh, to do in our town? Future plans? You know, I am, 
I have finished uh, one resolution for the for the conversion of Bukayat uh, Elementary School into integrated school, so that your school will no longer be uh, 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 dito, yung masyado maraming estudyante doon. So doon na lang sila mag-aaral sa Bukayat. And then another one, yung una kung ano, yung open high school program. Yung mga gustong mag-enroll na without attending the program of schooling. So ang dami na. Doon sa Kasilangan Integrated School, there are 100, more than 100 students under the open high school program. So that is helping the student learners uh, who are uh, working, who are who are pregnant, who are sick, and other who have uh, reasonable courses not enroll in the formal schooling. So yun yung isa na ginawa ko. And then uh, yung katatapos na napirmahan na, yung uh, giving incentives and awards to winners. Now, for example, in competitions, in skills, in sports. So pag nanalo ka sa sports, one to three, mabibigyan ka ng clock, at isa ito, mabibigyan ka pa ng pera. Ganun. In uh, division, regional, national, and international level. So pag tataas, tataas din yung pera na Um, yung bakang school po na open na ito, na pangunan sa buong school. Yung sinasabi ko po po, isa siyang open high school student. Because uh, of uh, financial status mm. po, uh, very poor po si kasi sila. Eh, and, uh, oh, it's good na. What if I, I study and work in a, uh, same time, sabi niya. And that is very helpful to Kasi yung open high school student. program, tayo dyan sa doon, yung ako ang nag, uh, ayun, ay, it is one of my innovations kasi yan ang first sa La Union. Tayo nag-implement ng first. Panay first tayo. Yung, yung special science curriculum, yung special program in journalism, special program in foreign language, saka yung other programs, tayo because of me. Kasi it's a product of my creative imagination. Yes, yung ikat dalawang sinabi niyo po ma'am, maganda rin po yun. Because uh, yung kan ma'am, yung ay awarding the... Ah yes, yes, yes. Kwan kasi ma'am, that will encourage the other to uh, improve their, their skill also in sports. Uh, not only sports, mentally. skills. For example, sa TLE ninyo, cooking, at saka yung mga iba pang skills. Then next one, yung academics. Yes, ma'am. Practice sa different subject areas. Like, Paano mo no? Oh. Yung ika, yung susunod na gagawin ko, yung sa mga guro. Kasi mayroon tayong screening dito sa bawang. Kagaya sa atin sa Donyolo, palagi tayong nananalo. Pero dun sa elementary, hindi pa sila, wala pang naging outstanding teacher na number one sa bawang. Wala pang outstanding principal na number one. So, ang gagawin ko, mag-screen tayo dito and then we're going to help yung mga elementary. In high school, okay na sa high school kasi kung ano yan, palaging donyologyo naman. Kaya lang, it's, it is discouraging na may mga kaso kayo dyan na naibabato sa akin. Kasi ako naman ang chairman ng Peace and Order, chairman ng Education, at saka chairman ng Awards and Recognition. So palagi ang nababato sa akin yan. So uh, I think I will give attention to that kasi kahit ang dami nating pinapalanalunan sa donyologyo pag mayroon tayong konting ano, marka doon. It will, ano, it will be demoralized. Yes, ma'am. Uh, that, uh, maganda po yun, ma'am, kasi talaga, pag ito sana ng certain individual uh, student, uh, um, may nakita siyang, kwan, parang magaling talaga mag-activity. Yung parang, for example, ma'am, basketball na sana. Uh, yung isa, yung, siyempre, yung marami na siyang award. Then, itong isa naman, yung, tumitingin lang sa kanya, uh, he will encourage oh. na they, uh, play this game also and improve his or her mm. skills. Kasi, kasi by means of sports, you could have a sound mind and sound body. Maganda yun. Kasi alam mo yun, kasi kaya naging, naging ano, very, ano ko, very, I had a strong determination and a very resilient person kasi dahil when I was in high school and college, I, I was a runner, 100-200 meter dash, I was a volleyball player, I was a basketball player. So yun, so tignan mo, I'm already senior citizen. Up but ka rin po pala mo. So until now, I could swim, I could swim, I could have the, yung ano yung zip line, gano'n. At saka yung snorkeling, doon ka sa loob ng dagat, gano'n, I could do that. Um, that is a uh, uh, income of, uh, kwan, uh, 
such as outstanding student or athlete you know? um, ayong pagiging athlete din mam kasi sa aking perspective uh, if you participate such as activity you improve uh, you improve uh, parang dadalhin mo yung skill mo na yun hanggang sa oh and then um, you could also develop values kasi yes. if you don't have discipline if you don't have sportsmanship and other values then you you can never be an athlete Yes, so, sir. if you like to be a winner, you should have discipline and other values that you should develop. You should have them yes, to be successful. Instead of uh, playing cell phone, mm -hmm. mobile yes. legends, uh, those are more productive. Other things. So, um, con na lang, uh, play na lang ng apps. At only basketball na, you should also teach yourself in other, in other, in other, in other. So, that's end our interview, ma'am. Ma Thank you for participating yes. our <laughs> interview. Yes, uh, I hope. We, gra we gratefully uh, cherish this moment hmm. na in-interview po namin. Kahit maghapon na interview, okay. pwede. Yes. Sana I will also have time to interview you also. Yes, ma'am. Uh, sana may ano kayo naman doon sa school. Ano nyo na kami naman na mag-interview sa inyo. Ah, yes, ma'am. Tungkol sa school ninyo. Tungkol sa mga guro. Ano? Sa darating po na araw. I will tell that to your, kwan, to your teachers when I will come there. Yes, ma'am. Ano? Okay, thank you also for your time. And, uh, Oh, I'm very happy that uh, uh, you interview me to practice in my communication skills. Kasi mula nung hindi na ako principal, doon lang kami sa session na magano. Para nakalimut. Pero wala na yung time na ko, na yung ang galing-galing mo magsalita na in front na uh, I memorize everything. Pero ngayon, dapat na may, ano eh, may, may line na kuha niya. And then I'm going to expand that to one sentence into three paragraphs, ganun. Kasi if you, as you grow older, Parang may lapses ka na eh. May lapses ka na. Okay. So, thank you, ma'am. Okay. We so, appreciate you, so. talaga, ma'am, your effort na uh, kahit po biglaan kami oh, po. Pasensya uh, naman na tayo, I'm not ready. Uh, 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 Akala ko yung uh, hindi kayo student, nakalimutan ko yung sinabi ni Jordan na ano, mag-interview kayo. Hmm, yes, nakalimutan ko na. Kahit biglaan, ma'am, ready, ready ka pa rin. Hmm. Mas gusto ko magmarami pang question. Ah, yes, ma'am. Ma'am, sa darating na <laughs> pan kulit. Thank you, Mama. Oh, okay. Oh, hey there. Jordan here. So, that concludes our interview on politicians for our subject, Understanding Culture, Society, and Politics. I hope that this vlog of ours has been very educational and very humorous to all of you. So, without further ado, I bid you all farewell. That's a wrap. I'm out.